All right, guys, here we are on Sandshore and Miss, and on the right side of it, our Zerg player from France, from the Team Millennium, it is Stefano. And over on the left side of the map, our South Korean Protoss player from SK Gaming, it is MC. Now, we saw once he uh, decided to put on some three-gate pressure, another map that's pretty good for it, if we're honest. Yeah, so. you know, I was actually going to mention that to myself. Yeah. This is another map where you really can gateway expand as Protoss and uh, take advantage of the fact that it's good against the three-hatch build that... Uh, Zerg players like to do, although, in this case, it will be a pylon, so no gateway expand from MC this game, it looks like. Yep, looks like he is going to uh, yep. forge fast expand or nexus first once again. We'll mm -hmm. see what uh, Stefano is going to do. If he's going to change things up a bit, he has been going exclusively for that three hatch build, except for the one, of course, where there was the gateway pressure and he had to react, but that's what his plan was. Yeah. Um, you know, and just small differences in when he puts his gas down, but otherwise it's been very consistent play out of Stefano. Yep, pretty much. Um, you know, if this game does go down to a game nine, um, players will start thinking a bit strategically in certain games. They're like, well, you know, if I... I'm, if they get like behind in a the game, they're like, well, if I lose this one, then I'll get to pick the final map. You know, it becomes yeah. something you think about in this longer best of format. And uh, taking a look now, looks like uh, Stefano is uh, pretty much doing the same thing he's been doing over the course of the past couple of games. MC yep. uh, getting in there will probably start to block that hatch momentarily. Uh, his opponent, or I'm sorry, MC himself, though, once again saving up for a quick nexus. Oh, N now. Of course, queues up all the probes and decides better of it. I actually think that's smart, though, because this map has a lot shorter walk distance. The same reason that it was good for a gateway expand as well. Right, um, right. But yeah, he's going to go ahead and switch things up a little bit, not go Nexus first. Now, what I wonder is if MC is going to do something similar to what we saw Startail Ace do in the last uh, IPL uh, Team Arena Challenge season, which is uh, really take advantage of that three hatch build that Zergs are doing on this map by forcing them to expand first at the third base location and then going for uh, you know really quick two base timing to take advantage of that. And so MC oh. could potentially be thinking of the same thing. He's got a couple of uh, he's got a couple of probes roaming across the map right now, huh. and two photon cannons and a full wall coming up back at home. Uh, it's MC, not quite a full wall yet, I don't think. No, it is. It is actually. I, I mean, really? it isn't. That's... I mean, it isn't. You're correct. That's what oh, I meant okay, to say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, like, you're fine. You're fine. I, like, uh, I don't know this map very well. I guess. <laughs> no, but this is this is craziness. This is madness. I tell you. Yeah. So he may actually just be planning on cannon, cannon rushing his opponent's third, potentially. Yeah. Um, something that happens on the NA server quite a bit, but not so much on uh, in the you know pro play in Korea. I mean, it does happen on the ladder all the time, but usually don't see pros doing it like this. And it looks like that drone was actually waiting around for a little while. Going to mm -hmm. try and hide back there. Now there is... Oh, the Overlord is close, but uh, it's it's trying to detect anything that would come up. But yeah. he didn't. He does not accounting for the possibility that there's already something there. And oh, he sees the probe. Yeah, he's like, all right, I can't. They're actually they're both patrolling. All right. Yes. Okay. So there's MC trying to mess with that third base. Right. And Still, what a weird way to go about this. Yeah. It's going to be very well defended. It's kind of a cool place for those. He's uh, got photon two probes cannons. up there now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. There's a pylon. Never mind. I thought that pylon was a probe. Yes. Okay. May have wanted to be a probe initially. Unfortunately, worked in Maybe. as a pylon. It's like, oh, I'm an inanimate object. <laughs> Crap. How am I even thinking these thoughts right now? Man. And look at this. Uh, much quicker two gas from Stefano getting that on the early 30s supply. He knows what Protoss players like to do on this map, so this isn't too surprising. He's going to uh, kind of forgo making a lot of drones this game for going for a little bit earlier defense. Yeah. I think that's a good call. And uh, MC Cybernetic score coming up a little bit later than normal because of the resources he expended in extra photon cannons and uh, got the Nexus a little bit later, so his economy is uh, not jump-started quite as quickly. Uh, yep. Just kind of a weird... It just seems off compared to the last few games we've seen, I suppose. Things not as crisp for both the, for both of these players. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like what Stefano is doing is intentional. It's just a little bit different. Uh, MC, though, I, I'm really curious as to why he put those two cannons up. Um, I'm not sure if he saw something that made him think it was going to be some sort of really early aggression. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's a good question. Because uh, that's usually 150 minerals that people would want to spend Whoa. on the earlier gateway, things like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting choice, considering that he Boom. has seen that there are already two cannons. And he went ahead and canceled his third. Uh, okay, I like this trickiness right. by Stefano here, but I'm going to say it again. I'm surprised he's going for this after seeing that there's already two cannons at MC's choke. So, oh, see what MC happens. MC's going after a Stargate right now as yep. well, so it's going to be a while before that's up and producing. So, uh, apparently MC's cat just made him mad. Whoa. So, that's breaking news. 
Sorry, man. My cat make me mad. <laughs> 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 well, you know, you can't. It's important to have your settings right. As a pro gamer, it's also important to not have a cat making you mad. That's true. Maybe it was the Muslim. Oh, and look at that. Stefano says, aha, you've seen uh, this. I don't care. Check, take take a anyway. look at these. All right, another photon cannon coming up. MC, that needs to do a double wall here or something along those lines. What are his resources going to go to? Another photon cannon. He'll have four. No. Oh. Decides to make that a gateway. Smarter decision Better right idea. there. There is a little gap in this spot here right here. Here come the mainlings, and they're going after the forge and the gateway. And right into the main base. Yeah, and the MC's going to need to wall that off oh, again here pretty soon. He can't get the forge lanes. down, though. Yeah, the Bailing's actually Ooh. going after the photon cannons, uh, yep. widening open that wall a That's little bit more. Open, yeah. And MC is going to lose his Nexus in his main, most likely. That's what Zerg players do like to do. They can yeah. kill the pylons first, it looks like. Oh, I love this. Making more banelings in case he tries to come back and defend with the probes, which is exactly what he's trying to do. Trying oh! to trap those probes. Trying to catch him, and because of mineral walk, he can't, but right. he's sticking right next to that sentry, too, so he can't, like, uh, you know, force field it off or anything. Nice One target firing with the cannon. Doesn't do as much as it could, but all those probes, a lot of them anyway at low health. Right. Okay, so this is a full wall up at the front now, so yeah. MC is going to stabilize after a time. That's all the Zerglings. Huh. They are gone now. And uh, Stefano actually making another 12 lings after this. I gotta so. say, I'm a little bit surprised that Stefano chased him all the way down to the natural. I thought he would kind of stay in the main and kill the Nexus. That's what a lot of Zerg players choose to do, but... I think he thought he would be able to uh, do a little bit more to the probes than it turned out. Yeah, we do have a couple more queens coming up now. That's going to be the anti-air of choice uh, because yep. that evolution chamber is still quite a ways off. So another forge coming up now. Gate uh, three gateways up for MC. So we will actually be able to warp in quite a few units. And all things considered, didn't lose that many workers. No, still not sitting really. on 38 probes for now. Yeah, that baneling bust didn't go very well at all for uh, Stefano, and he's certainly not going to be able to get in and uh, do any more damage. He may just try to bust again. He's got enough uh, gas to just make a ton of banelings. Yeah. But, yeah, it looks like he's getting two more gas, getting carapace and stuff like that. So, yeah, he's not going to uh, go after that right away. But um, interesting. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just kind of droning up at this point, going for his lair. And now, at least, you know, he's going to be able to keep MC from taking a third fairly quickly, you know? And we have games where uh, these players are going to have to think on their feet now because mm -hmm. this is uh, certainly a little bit atypical. Um, MC still continuing to double Chrono Boost out probes, though, so his economy is looking pretty spectacular, we'll say. Um, and Stefano not really going to be able to make it back in there with any more units, so two base uh, Zerk versus two base Protoss. Uh, Voidray tried to sneak in one more time. He did force a couple of Spore Crawlers, though, and that's what he wants. Yep. Definitely forced a couple of spines as well. Stefan is kind of playing safe. I wonder if we're going to see potentially mutas again this game. Could very that well is be. a lot of spine crawlers put up right now for Stefano. He's actually going for double upgrades for his uh, Zerglings, too. All right. So what a crazy game we kind of have on our hands now, or the way it kind of turned into this. Already, MC is wondering about anything that could be moving into any part of his base. So yep. throwing down those pylons everywhere to make sure he's complete vision control. And an infestation pit coming up now for Stefano. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so it is going to just be Ling and Fester. And right now, Stefano's main objective should be to prevent MC from taking a third base. That's kind of like the main thing right now. MC, though, uh, he may not be terribly interested in taking a third. He may just actually go for a two-base gateway Colossus attack. That's what I was thinking, yeah. um, because that certainly can work at this stage of the game. So yep. MC sees the hatchery. Uh, he'll be able to get a couple of shots on it. Oh, actually, more importantly, going to be able to pick off an Overlord. The Overlord trying to run back to the safety of the Queens, but is still going to die, unfortunately. Yep. Bye -bye. Doing a little bit of damage, but that's about it. Yep, and this uh, base still quite a ways away from finishing. So, uh, let's see, three more gateways. Robotics Bay finishing up now as well. Probe is trapped in the middle. MC <laughs> is uh, put it out of like misery. Yeah, MC. That's, that's putting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sad. Oh, really? Oh, it's like a lame horse. You had to put it down, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Yep. Sad. Cruel, but that's the way the world works, <laughs> Sir Knox. A lot. <laughs> ah, why? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yes. Let's see here, though. Range coming up now for those Colossi. A Roach Warren is coming down for Stefano as well, so he will eventually be able to move into huge Roach production and uh, Infestor production. But I've got to say, you know, MC, um, you, after that failed bailing bust, has been able to build himself a pretty good lead. Yeah, well, I mean, he's doing what he can. He's uh, playing very defensive. He's just turtling up right now, and that's why we see Stefano going so tech-heavy. Yeah. You know, he's like, all right, you can turtle. I will just take a third base and get a lot of tech. Yep. Not a lot you can do about it. And MC's still getting a good amount of scouting done as well. 
um, in the middle of the map right now still with, uh, I believe it's an Observant of Void Ray. Yep, that's what he's got. Yes, he is. At uh, Void Ray, actually, up to eight kills now. So nice. It's a mentor. Yeah, 13 workers have been killed by Stefano so far, though. Math. <laughs> it's a mentor. That's, that's impressive. That's See, there uh, you go. High quality math there. I, I know. Thermal Lance on the way. Four MC, so it looks like he is planning uh, just kind of a big two-base timing here. He could push out and try to take a third, but it would be such a late third that, you know, oh, he's actually hiding the Colossi, too. So, yeah, yeah. taking a page out of Squirtle's PVT book, it looks like. Works pretty well, yeah. I have to say. So, it looks like he's waiting for a third Colossus to finish up now, and uh, maybe may make a big push with that. Mm -hmm. And Void Ray still running around, and it uh, looks like it's going to be able to clean up these Zerglings here. Let's drive them away. Yep. And uh, this is good because it may make the Stefano think that MC is interested in expanding too. That's uh, we'll that's very true. Let's see if these Zerglings duck back in. Indeed, they do. They uh, catch a glimpse of an immortal, but that's about all. Surprised yeah, they, none of those Zerglings have died yet. Did they? I don't even know if they got up the ramp far enough to get a okay. glimpse of that immortal. It was it would have been close, but I I wonder if he actually did see it. Um, he's not really responding any different than you would normally think he would. He's just making a lot of roaches, getting upgrades. Okay, now he knows. That there's a push coming here, and where are the Colossi for MC? And they're there finally they starting are. to trudge their way out. Yep, and Stefano does not have a lot to deal with this. This could be pretty deadly for our Zerg player. All right, taking a look at his side of things. Yeah, a lot of fragile nice Zerglings, though. just a few roaches, uh, but a good number of Infestors, and that's really what he'll need to uh, bank on, the control of those Infestors. Warp Prison coming out as well will be used as a forward pylon. Can also attack at the main at the same time that he's moving around to the third. Oh, Colossi! Um, all right. Okay. Like, wait, wait a second. We don't want to die. Right. Yeah. That's uh. Wait. What's what's going on here? I don't know. He's oh, revealed the closet. Though. MC They're doing? out ahead. They're out ahead. What is MC doing? Oh no! A disaster for MC. Losing two of the Colossi right away. Oh, I can't God. believe he made a mistake like that. That is. That is insane, man. No kidding. All right. Well, I'm not sure what server these games are being played on, so I, uh, you know, I well, don't think that we can was, chalk no. that up to lag in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that wasn't a lag mistake. That was just a control mistake. You let his Colossi get, like, a full screen ahead of the rest of his army, man. Wow. I mean, that's... Yeah, I can't blain that one on lag. That's just a, that's just a mistake. Plain, oh. plain and simple. <laughs> All right. Well, Void Ray gets away, uh, forces a little bit of energy out. That's actually collectively a fungal growth sitting there in Infested Terrence that won't be used. And uh, we'll see here, though. Stefano has quite a few units. MC warping in a lot, though. Is he going to be able to get his units around close uh, or quick enough? Stefano oh, starting Stefano. to move in now. The rest of the units are lagging a little bit behind. Stefano has a pretty good concave right now. And uh, Warp Prism is going to have to get out of there. This Colossus finally doing some damage sitting at the back now. The Immortal actually dealing out quite a bit of that. But the Colossus, ooh, is able to survive barely just it. barely. That's big. Now imagine just how one-sided this would have been if there would have been three Colossi with this fight. MC as it is, doing a pretty good job with those force fields. Yeah, yes. Those Imba MC force fields. But yeah, imagine if he had lost those two Colossus. This game would actually be over right now. Yeah. As it is, it's it still may be over soon. MC's doing pretty well here. Yeah, more Colossi finally starting to uh, re-engage now. Mm -hmm. A couple being produced at the moment. He could warp in a bunch of uh, Zealots as well off of this Warp Prism if he so desires. And boom, there's the Zealot Warp That's what I was waiting yep. for. He's exactly. sitting on eight gates for now. All right, so MC trying to get in a good position here to attack the third base. Kind of letting units through, not really using any force fields. There's a couple of them going down, just kind of split up the roach numbers a little bit. Yeah, surprise no Guardian Shield quite yet, just uh, allocating the uh, the amount of money there, or the amount of energy for those force fields. Finally breaks down his own force fields there, starting to go after the hatchery. He's effectively denied mining here for quite a while. Up by 30 supply overall, reinforcing with a second Colossus just a second away. Yep. Now Stefano sent a few units down to the third base of MC to kind of look for those as well. What are those spines doing? I'm not sure. Like, run! We forgot to burrow! Dancing. Awkward. All right, so MC coming in yet again. He needs to be careful not to get those units fungled. Yeah. Now starting to run up with those uh, Colossi, though, and the second one's trudging its way across the map. Here comes MC. Throws down the Guardian Shield. Units coming up the ramp. This is a better spot for Stefano to engage as the uh, spine crawlers are able to do a little bit of damage as well. But MC just wants to brute force his way up the ramp. Yeah, and so far it's doing okay, but there's so many spines there, and Stefano has gotten some great fungal growths up. I don't know if he's going to be able to get, actually get up the ramp. We'll find out. The uh, spine crawler starting to go down slowly but surely. The mortal, 18 kills. It is a master. Um, let's see here now. Those roaches have to fend off some more warpins on the high ground here. 80 supply, 77 supply to 99. There it is. MC just one game away now from taking.